We're in the Tumusula Cultural Institute that was built with USDA funds. It's been a great research and education facility. It's expanded to other programs within the tribe, language programs, and then cultural resource programs. As you go through the museum, as you see some of the stories in there, they try to make it as factual as they can, which I always thought was a beautiful thought, you know, especially for a tribe that doesn't have a written history. So there's not a lot of judgment or personal biases that are inserted into those stories. When we first started, we looked at developing the museum, golf course, RV park, the casino, and the cultural institute. After all of those were completed, then we started looking into uh, industrial commercial development and so we created Coyote Business Park. We had some USDA money there and then Farm Enterprise we oversee almost 13,000 acres. Most of it is dryland wheat. Recently we're wanting to get into the broadband. A lot of the reservation has limited or no access to internet. So we're looking at those programs. USDA's been such a wonderful partner for us. I, I mean, even we were a little skeptical. But sure enough, I think over the years, USDA's provided a host of different projects for us. And it's just been a tremendous benefit. And I think we've been good at encouraging other Northwest tribes to kind of go down that same path too.